Sa aking kapwa Pilipino, to my fellow Knights of Rizal, a blessed day po sa inyong lahat. I understood that we are now living in millennial days, but still I believe we need to remember and give significance to our past because our past reflects the future. Why is Dr. Jose Rizal is important? It is important to study the life of Rizal because of his input towards the independence of the Philippines. He chose to fight for his country through knowledge and the power of letters. He noticed the continued suffering of his countrymen at the hands of the Spaniards and sought to put an end to this situation. He was executed by the Spaniards' colonial government for the crime of rebellion after Philippine Revolution. Inspired part by his writings broke out. Even he was not actively involved in its planning or conduct, he ultimately approved of its goals which eventually led to Philippine independence. He is widely considered one of the greatest heroes of the Philippines and it has recommended to be so honored by an officially impaneled National Heroes Committee. However, no law, executive order, or proclamation has been enacted or issued officially proclaiming any Filipino historical figure as a national hero. He was the author of the novels Nole Mitanghere and El Filibisterismo and more points and essays to mention. Why do we celebrate Rizal Day every 30th day? of December. We are celebrating the Rizal Day as a Philippine national holiday commemorating the life and works of Rizal, a national hero of the Philippines. This is the death anniversary of Rizal, 1896 execution at Bagumbayan, now the Rizal Park at Luneta, Manila. Who is Dr. Jose Rizal? The real name of Dr. Jose Rizal is Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado E. Alonso Rialonda and born at Calamba, Laguna in June 19, 1861. He died by the execution of firing squad at the Bagumbayan, Manila last December 30, 1896 at the age of 35. Now, we are commemorating the 124th martyrdom anniversary of Dr. Jose Rizal. He was having the monuments at Calamba, Laguna, Luneta Park, Manila, Dait, Camarines Norte, Carson, California, and many more around the world. His family and friends called him Pepe and Jose as his nickname and he was able to speak 22 languages, including Spanish, French, Latin, Greek, German, Russian, Chinese, Greek, Hebrew, and Sanskrit. And he studied at Universidad Central Madrid, taking up the course of medicine, Ateneo Municipal de Manila, Bachelor of Arts, and University of Santo Tomas, Philosophy and Letters. Dr. Jose Rizal was married to Josephine Bracken in 1896 and his father is Francisco Rizal Mercado and his mother Teodora Alonso Rialonda. His siblings are Saturnina Hidalgo, Pasiano Rizal, and Trinidad Rizal. La Solidaridad and La Liga Filipina are his organizations. What is the organization constituted by law to develop and promote the life and works of Rizal? The Order of the Knights of Rizal is the sole order of knighthood in the Philippines. The order was created to honor and uphold the ideals of Philippine national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. The insignia of the order is rank 7 in the order of where pursuant to the implementing rules and regulations of the Honors Code of the Philippines. The order was established in 1911 by Colonel Antonio C. Torres 
who later served as the first Filipino chief of police in Manila. The order was granted a legislative order by President Elpidio Quirino as non-sectarian, non-partisan, civic, patriotic, and cultural organization under Republic Act 646 on June 14, 1951. Since its founding, the order was grown more than 25,000 members belonging to 131 active chapters in the Philippines and 61 active chapters around the world including United States, Canada, Spain, Australia, Argentina, Albana, UAE, New Zealand, Macau, Czech Republic, Singapore, South Africa, France, Japan, and many, many others. The international headquarters is located at Bonifacio Drive in Port Area, Manila. And now, ladies and gentlemen, what is Republic Act 646? An act to convert the Orden de Caballeros de Rizal into a public corporation to be known in English as Knights of Rizal and in Spanish as Orden de Caballeros de Rizal and to define its purposes and powers whereas a civic organization known as Orden de Caballeros de Rizal or Knights of Rizal was incorporated under the Corporation Law of the Philippines in the year 1916 by patriotic citizens for the following purposes. Number one, to develop the most perfect union among the Filipinos in revering the memory of Dr. Jose Rizal. Second one, to promote along the associated knights the spirit of patriotism and Rizalian chivalry. The third, to study and spread the teachings of Dr. Jose Rizal and keep her alive his consecrated memory and make effective his exemplary and exalted principles and to organize the annual festivities in honor of Dr. Jose Rizal. And now, the question is, how to become a member of the Knights of Rizal? The men of legal age with good moral character and reputation who receive admission upon the endorsement of two active members with the approval of the Supreme Council. And here are the grades or the rank of the order. First degree, Knight of Rizal, KR. Second degree, Knight Officer of Rizal. Third degree, Knight Commander of Rizal. Fourth degree, the second highest rank, the Knight Grand Officer of Rizal, KGOR. And the highest rank, the fifth degree, Knight Grand Cross of Rizal, KGCR. And of course, some among the members to mention are the former Chief Justice, Hilario Davide, former Chief Justice, Renato Puno, former Senator, Joelina, and many, many more. And of course, the motto, Non omnis moria. It means what Dr. Sersal said uh, before he died, not everything in me will die. Hindi po lahat sa akin ay mamamatay. And the present uh, Supreme Commander is Sir Elio A. Ibanez, KGCR. Mga minamahal ko pong kababayan, let us remember Dr. Jose Rizal along with other heroes who shared their life, knowledge, and strength to make the Philippines a free country. May all be inspired influence and influenced by Dr. Jose Rizal's courage and intelligence, passion for freedom, his sense of duty, and undying love to the country. Let us all heroes in our own little way be of service to the community, extend your blessings to the needy, love and respect yourself and your family, and be a law-abiding citizen. And finally, let us leave at heart the four M's, Maka Kalikasan, Maka Tao, Maka Bayan, at Maka Diyos. Mga kababayan, I am Kari Palabrika. I am the Knights uh, 
Commander of Rizal, I was initiated and uh, elevated to KOR at Prague Chapter, Czech Republic, last 2009, and I was also elevated as, as Knight Commander of Rizal at Kalamba Chapter, Laguna. Mga kababayan, sama-sama po nating isigaw. Mabuhay po si Dr. Jose Rizal. Mabuhay po ang Knights of Rizal. Mabuhay po tayong mga Pilipino. Nan omnis moriar.